G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Here's uh, something a bit different. Um, I don't just grow small trees, I do enjoy my uh, trident maples, and this is a big, big trident maple. Um, that's my hand, give you an idea of the base of this tree. So, what this is, this was a piece of nursery stock, field grown, um, uh, give shibu, shibu in um, Yarin, well, Yarin Dekka, well, I can't remember how to even say that. But Shiba Bonsai, he's, um, he grew this stock. Uh, I picked up the uh, the tree at our Bonsai Northwest exhibition and sale, which is just by chance coming up July 27 and 28, 2019. So at the Footscray Community Arts Centre, nice plug. But I picked this up at that um, show. It was very big and overgrown as, as, as field stocks go so i've been reducing it and cutting back now you can see lots of there's quite a few wounds that are still healing um, but they're coming along nicely um, there's a big one here that's healing as well um, they're coming the, the weird wounds are see sealing over time which is great as tridents do um, but in the meantime i'm trying to develop the tree as well now this tree got pretty much neglected over summer i hadn't as you can see there's too many too many long shoots now when that happens the all the shoots start to thicken up way too much and they can cause problems uh, with fattening up of the top areas and there's no real there's no real um ramification of the nodes so that's you can see how quite long that is and it's not interesting that's not what i'm trying to achieve um, also I left some wire on that cut in a little bit but i'm hoping that can come out easily so my plan and vision for this tree is try and style it more in a deciduous nature, not a you know left right back left right black, but trying to trying to get it in a nice big canopy um, of, of foliage. You could probably see the outline if you imagine it, nice big bit, nice big foliage around here, and then a little nice nice one over this side too. Um, so that's what my plan is: build foliage around here build a bigger foliage around here but it's going to take time it's going to take many years of development to get it to that point but what we need to do is actually work on what i do at this time of year is i can cut back the twigs um, and cut back the branching a bit just so i can work on the shorter internodes now what i mean by that is and i'll bring the camera in for example so okay so what i mean by the internodes so i want to make create short internodes so you see there's a bud there, there's actually a bud there, there's a bud there, a branch starting to form there. There's actually, this is the internode, this is the, this is the, um, the part of the branch that has no buds and will never ever have buds. So this internode, these internodes are way too long for my liking. I like to have short internodes. Now, unfortunately this tree, as I said, I've let go rampant a bit too much trying to look for shorter internodes. Now you can see a little bit in here. So smaller branching that closer in and closer. So that's not too bad for internode distance. Even this guy is starting to get a bit short. See, there's one there, short one there, short one there, but then starting to get longer. So what I like to do is cut back the long internode. So maybe cut back to there so I can have a shorter distance. So I hope that makes kind of sense. So that's really what I work on and probably just moving and positioning the, some of the branches into place. Now, I don't want to wire the branches down horizontally. I want them to come down slightly and then back up. It's, it's how deciduous kind of trees grow. Um, you can see the nature of this tree. It's actually going all up, all upwards, upwards, upwards. But I want to try and, um, towards the top of the tree, yes, it does do that and it goes more, more straight. But towards the you know the bottom end you have them you have them slightly dip down um, slightly dip down and then come up so maybe something like that and then come up slightly dip down and then the point will come up so that's 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 the idea so you know slightly dip down and then come up hope that makes sense so that's what the plan is for this tree today and we'll see what i can get done so what you what you need in terms of when you're doing this be prepared to wire if you need to but I, I go grab my branch, you know, just scissors, branch scissors, or twig scissors, branch scissors, and my and my um, my trusty branch cutter is the most important to, to cut off any thick branches that we need. But um, I pretty much come through and have a look. So I'll look at, let's say I'll start on this side. I like this branch, this just probably needs a bit of wiring. This it's probably a little too long. I'm just gonna take it off at that node. 
leaving a little little stub of a branch to die back to the bud. You know, same same with this guy. It's, I think it's too long. And I'll cut back to a node. So it's shorter, shorter. Always trying to bring it shorter to shorter internodes. You know, this guy at the back here, same problem. Too long of internodes. The internodes too long. And I'm going to cut back to maybe that internode there for now. I'll probably have to go a bit shorter because it is too long. This branch here, whilst it's got some buds in here, so I might leave it as for now. I mean, I might cut it back to this because I know there's nothing here. So that's going there. So it's a shorter, shorter. This one again, way too long. And I might even bring that back right back to here. Start to develop that. Okay. At the back here, this is actually quite a little nice little branch. I might leave that totally alone. Uh, I might just bring him back a little bit. Yep, I found another one in here. So that one, unfortunately, there's one in here that's um, too too much in the middle. I'm going to take him right out. There's too many in that spot. There's actually now too many in this spot, but I'm just trying to leave as much as I can to do, build that area up. Now, I do have this guy in the middle here, if you can see. Now he's trying to, he, he's important because if, if he grows, he'll heal up this section much easier. So I'm tempted to just leave him alone for now and just see what happens. Because, um, you know, obviously with this branch, it doesn't really blend into the, to the tree where we need it to be. And I'll oh, never know. I'm going to leave it for now. Now, I like this guy. He's got nice short internodes. I'm going to leave him for now. Might have to put a little wire on it. This is the guy I'm worried about. And this is the guy we want to work on. So it's got a very straight bit here, which I don't mind too much because it's got some nice twigs we can cut back to maybe one day. But this is ridiculous. This is no good. So either I cut back to here or take it all off. I'm just going to cut back to here at the moment because um, that's that's what I'm planning. Let me let me just work with that for now. Okay, so that's the kind of work you do. Now you need to then develop the tree again through buds and as they come up and so on. So you can see the cutting back has made it much more tighter but the point of that is the next lot of growth you want to start to develop and not have straight bits all over the place hope that makes sense um yeah so this kind of this side of the tree is done now coming up to the big section i just i just work my way up the tree and just really imagine where branches will be and if they're too long internodes cut them back so we might just wire that out again this is too long too long these are all, even though they're small, they're just, just a little too long in terms of twigs. As you can hear, the birds are outside again and making commotion. So we come back and just clean up. There's some probably dead bits you want to clean up that are in the middle. So we can't get them in. So I reckon this guy is way too heavy for this area. So I'm going to put him back to the node. There's a nice node in there. Again, same problem. I might actually take that right off because it's going straight up when I've got a side branch here that can go this way. And that's the direction I want that branch to go. So this guy might want to develop a little bit. It's got very good nodes into nodes. It's not very, very far, so I might take it there. This guy, I know I want to develop him a little bit more. He's got lots of nice short internodes up here, which is good. So I'm going to actually leave him alone because I want him to develop much fit because I want to build this branch into here and create a really important branch in here. So there's one that I would leave alone. It's up the top here. This has got some nice buds along the way, along, down, along here. So it's very short internodes, but this is too long out here. So I'm going to take him out. Might actually take him all the way because this guy is much nicer, much finer. This guy at the back here, no good. And I might bring him back to here. All right, so we're starting to see some twigs. I don't like this one at all, actually. So, and there's a nice little side branch here, which I'll cut back to. So I'll cut back to that. So then I'm hoping this will develop that way and continue the tree. Now we've got this bit up here. Um, I might might do that giving it some interest there's a nice branch here we could cut back to all the way but I'll leave that for now because it's quite interesting cut back 
Hey, so there you go. That didn't take me very long at all. You go through the tree methodically, try to imagine where the branches will be, take out bits that you don't know, don't like. Um, now, it does need a little bit of wire to set some of these branches and try and get them in the direction we want them to go. And that's pretty much it for the maintenance that I do in winter or coming into winter for my deciduous trees. Um, it's a good time to see the tree, what it looks like, how, how it's going to be positioned. And it's a great time to wire the tree as well. So I'll come back and do some wiring um, and get it into, into place, some of, the, some of the smaller branches, just to get the idea of where things are going to go. So wiring deciduous tree, just like any other tree, you just go through the tree. Um, deciduous trees, I definitely use aluminium. I don't use copper. Um, so I'm just looking, I might wire these two branches together. Uh, I might leave this alone. I'm not gonna bother wiring him. I'm gonna wire these two at the back here together just to get some slight down movement and then to bring it back up. Um, these, these twigs I'm just gonna leave for now because I think they're a bit too brittle. I don't wanna snap them. Um, and then I'll come through and wire some of this. It won't take me very long. Um, if you want to hang around and have a look, or you can speed through the video. Um, yeah, just send some dead bits. Or you can fast forward to the end. But it's not going to be drastic. It's not going to be a huge change. It's just going to be a nice revision of the tree. Because I want to try and get some filling out here, I'm trying to bend these branches more towards this left side. So I'm trying to get them into this so they can develop out here. Just slightly, don't go too hard because much more brittle than, you know, than a pine, etc. Or any conifers. One thing you want to try and avoid is when you've wired previous years, you should avoid the same spot that the wire goes in. Because at the moment I've got wounds there, and I don't want to go over the same wound to, to, to get, to get, um, to just bury the wiring again. So you just got to be careful, otherwise you make too much of a dent in the, um, in the branch. Hard to try and wire and let you guys see try to what I'm doing, but I'll do my best. So it's a bit deciduous. I try and once I wire, I try and position at the same time. Oops, Get that crack. Well, that's a, that's a defect there, so there you go. That means that means that wire was no good. Oh, sorry, that branch was no good. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll cut back to the, I'll cut back to, there's a nice little twig bit here. So I'll cut back to that. So that, that means that wire that was cutting in last time was too much, and it cut in way too much. And as soon as I tried to bend that, it snapped. So no big deal, just keep going. As you see, I'm not too fast. Citrus trees, I'll shoot everywhere. That wasn't that critical of a branch. I'll just keep moving along. Now 
Now we move on to this side. I'm just looking to see what I need to do. And I'll leave that one alone. I won't touch that. I want to wire these two little guys, but I'm going to have to try and anchor it somewhere to do that. I might anchor it on itself and see if it works. Because I only want to put a slight, slight twists in or bends in there. So let's see if like, ooh, this works. Just tweak them slightly downwards so that when so when they come down they can back up. A lot of this is just twigs. I can't really wire these guys because they're very small, they're not gonna do much, but these guys can be wired. I'll touch him, I think I'll do that, that, and this. I might wire these two together with one wire. Now I want to get a slightly thicker one on this guy. And this, because this guy's quite thick. And the good news is with this one. I'll go in between where I wired last time, so I won't over, go over the same area as the the parts that have been wired, and there's wire marks, so it's, I'm going across them. I hope you, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I wired that wire that way last year, now I'm wiring it this way, so it's crossing over at the different angle, which is good. because I want to develop that further that's why I've left the same so I'm just going to try and tweak some of this around here it's good it's only subtle changes but it makes a huge difference so I'm just trying to get it into this spot here to create the pad this should just be nice so I want to get the curve curve down curve down curve down so it's a little bit exaggerated at the moment, but it will help develop that tree. So, so maybe eventually we'll even cut back further, but I like to see a nice big branch there, out here. So, there we go. Interesting. Now I'll just wire these two guys, and that's pretty much it. This guy's too solid. I don't really want to wire him. I think I might be cutting him off anyway, because um, I like this little small twig up here anyway. So let's see how that works. So I'll just wire this guy, these two guys, and I'm done. Be careful here, there's a small tweak. Don't want to break that. So I'm just going to make a slight interesting turns there, put that one in the back there. Could have used maybe slightly heavy gauge that one. So, not too much work, just a slight tweaks, the trim back. Maybe you can see what I'm trying to, I'm trying to style here. So you think about a nice big foliage in there, create a tree in here, it's nice and small, so overall it's a nice big canopy of, of, a, of a deciduous tree. So that's the plans, hopefully it makes it in, the, uh, in looks good in the future. So, hope you like this video, it's a little bit different to my um, junipers and shimpaku and black pines. Um, but I hope you got something out of it, how you treat deciduous trees. So 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe as always, and hope you like my videos. And yeah, you'll see the notifications of other videos in the future. Thanks, guys.